Isaiah chapter 4 verses 2 through 6. There will be splendor for the survivors. On that day, the branch of the Lord will be luster and glory, and the fruit of the earth will be honor and splendor for the survivors of Israel. He who remains in Zion and he who is left in Jerusalem, will be called holy, everyone marked down for life in Jerusalem. When the Lord washes away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and purges Jerusalem's blood from her midst with a blast of searing judgment, then will the Lord create, over the whole site of Mount Zion and over her place of assembly, a smoking cloud by day and a light of flaming fire by night. For over all, the Lord's glory will be shelter and protection, shade from the parching heat of day, refuge and cover from storm and rain. The Word of the Lord the psalmist is reminding the people of Jerusalem what happened when Jerusalem fell to Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon. Many of them had led frivolous lives, ignoring God and prayer. Many spent th their lives attempting to increase their social status and wealth. Now was the time to straighten up their life and endure a painful and lasting lesson. Some quickly realized that there was reason to believe that in God's mercy he would again return to shelter his people as he had done in the past. When the people mend their ways by returning to God, will God again shelter the people of Jerusalem, and their temple? For over all, His glory will be shelter and protection, shade from the parching heat of day, refuge, and cover from storm and rain. Odd isn't it, you never really know what you have until it is taken away. Israel would be the captives of the Babylonians for seventy years. King Cyrus of Persia then allowed the Israelites to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the city and the temple which the Babylonians had destroyed.